so to continue where I left off in the last tutorial, we were talking about vectors and uh, vectors in C++ and how useful they are. And um, so we had a function to print our vector, basically, and we'll learn about iterators and we'll rewrite this function perhaps. Uh, but other than that, um, we, we declared a vector called v. Um, we pushed back uh, we pushed back 50 elements uh, from 0 to 49 <coughs> and then we popped back 25 the last 25 and so we ended up with um, a vector uh, well wi with a list printed out onto our console window of 0 to 24 uh, 25 elements so and now we'll, we'll use some of the other uh <coughs> some of the other functions that a vector has, and it has a lot, trust me. To see all of them, <coughs> I recommend going to cpp www.cppreference.com, uh, standing for C++ reference, and that's probably the easiest one. But, so, back on track, let's um, clear these functions, and we'll j just do... Uh, push back 5 and we'll push back perhaps 5, 3 and 2 and so our V looks like this right now 5, 3, 2 right? and um, now we say V dot insert and we insert at the second element and then we insert the we insert a 3 so since we inserted the second element we're inserting here I think and we insert another 3 actually let's insert something different just to see where it goes here so now when we print our vector perhaps we should get Two five three nine two or five nine two three, or we get an error. Let's see. We we can insert. Uh, uh huh. Ah, uh, to insert we need an iterator. So let's talk about iterators then, since they want us to give them an iterator. So then I have to teach you about them. Uh, scary. Okay. Um, so I'm going to declare an iterator, which is basically just a thing that jumps over a vector, and you can access a ve vector, loop through a vector with an iterator, anything you want. So vector in colon colon iterator, and my iterator is going to be called i ter iter because it's a cool name eh? and so I'm gonna just gonna set iter equal to v dot begin um, what v dot begin is it's a pointer to the beginning of a vector and it's not the first element it's a pointer to the first element of a vector and just to demonstrate this concept because it's not not, not too terribly easy um, I drew you a picture um so here is my picture and in this picture bob we have an array called bob that has six elements and as you see bob begin points to the first element of the array but it points it's not bob that begin does not return you the first element it points to it and bob dot n points to the last element of the array so Bob dot begin and Bob dot end are pointers, and our iterator points to some random thing, which we assign it. It can point to Bob zero, it can point to Bob five, it can point to anything. But its type, in the case that we declare a vector of strings, its type is a string pointer. In our case, it's an in pointer. So this nice picture hopefully explains it. And so now. Uh, we assign either to v begin, and we say c out. Uh, oops, 
writer is equal to uh, v dot begin, and then we say s star writer. Um, why we need the star there is uh, because um, oops. Oh, dang it. ah. So the star is because either, as I told you, is a pointer to the first element. You remember that? And since it points to the first element, we, we need to star it uh, to get the actual value of the first element. So either is equal to vbegin, and uh, this will bring us up. It will bring us... Da 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 da. It takes a while. Here we go. Either is equal to v begin, which is five, the first element of the array. So now, since we have either at v begin, we can say plus plus either, which will loop it, which will do this uh, back to our picture. It will jump from the f pointing to the first element to pointing to the next element, and then we can do the same C out statement, and then we can use the v dot insert method at the place called either and we want to insert a 9 so we're inserting an, a 9 at uh, the second position right so it will be 5 3 9 2 hopefully or maybe 5 9 3 2 we'll see in a second once this thing runs hmm it gave us an error see what the error oh I didn't put a semicolon. Ah, that's stupid. I guess it makes sense. So, let's see out it. And let's see what we get. And in fact, we get... Um, oh, we get 5395932. So I was wrong. It has to be 59 three two so it inserts before the iterator well so if you want to insert the second position you want to bring the iterator to the third position so knowing what we know now about iterators uh, we will we will declare an iter iterator vector t iterator oops iterator it and since we're not modifying, we can even declare it as a constant iterator. And so, since we know all of this, it, uh, oops, oh, uh, it equals to v1 dot begin. It is not equal to, right? Not equal to v1 dot end. And plus plus it we can uh, uh, see out oops, see out star it because it is a pointer to the current element and let's see if this still works let's hope it does oh something's wrong we what? expected const iterator well, I'll just declare it as a normal iterator then if they don't like it. Boop, 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 boop. Expected colon before it. Vector. Um. Hmm. This is a curious problem. Well, let's see. Let let me think, um, and by the next next part of our vector tutorial, I will bring you the answer. So see you next time, um, hopefully with a solution to this little dilemma. Okay, take care.